Peter, is it fair to say you're a very happy man just now? Yeah, absolutely. It's been a very hectic two weeks since Neil uh, resigned and left, and um, we've seen a lot of good candidates, a lot of fantastic candidates, but uh, delighted today we, we've really got Ronnie, who was the most outstanding. So he, he's a very um, intelligent guy, he's a modern progressive coach, and really just what we need at the moment. Peter, was there anything in particular that convinced you that Ronnie was the right man for the job? Well, apart from his intelligence, his main attributes, he's got a track record. So he really um, picked up a, a small club uh, who were going nowhere and he, he built it and he built them into champions. So fantastic achievement. So not only has he got the, the theory and the intelligence and the, um, you know, the, he's got a track record there as well. It was a coach whose stock was on the rise, so is it a case that Celtic have actually got a bit of a diamond here? I hope so. I mean, that's what we look for. I hope, we, you know, he, he, um, he is in the rise and he's highly sought after. Uh, we had, uh, we've got all the good connections down south who um, people we regard in terms of their judgement and they have uh, they alerted us to Ronnie a while ago and we just kept tabs and then when the opportunity came, we were delighted to go and talk to him. Was it a case perhaps when the scouting of Stefan Johansson going over to, to Norway, was it uh, maybe that Ronnie caught the eye then again as well? There was a bit, a bit of that as well. We'd kn known him before that and then when Stefan came, we, you know, he was highly complimentary. And I spoke to Stefan earlier this week uh, before we made the approach and he was very, very uh, positive and very complimentary in Ronnie. He seems to have a very clear football philosophy. Uh, what do you think the Celtic support can expect from him? Well, he, he has that. He's, he's got open, expansive, entertaining football. Uh, and that's what we need here. We need to entertain our supporters, we need to win and we need to entertain and Ronnie certainly uh, will provide that. He won a lot of praise over in Norway for, for gelling together older players and younger players coming through. Again, that must be just another attribute that attracted him to, to Celtic, the yeah, Celtic job. that's right. You, you know, uh, we have to develop our own and we also have to bring players here that are, you know, the, the uncut diamonds, bring them here, shine them up and put them in the team. And that's his skill set, no question. He's a great motivator also. So he has picked up more experienced players, as you say, blended them with the young and produced great teams. We're looking ahead to the UEFA Champions League qualifiers, a, a big test, but I think we can see from Ronnie, has that real enthusiasm and excitement for it? He has. I mean, that's, to come to Celtic, number one, you know, his motivation and his drive will be 100%. But then to get into the Champions League with the prospect of him managing in the group stage for the first time will be a, a huge driver for him. The other slight benefit might be the fact that in the qualifiers we may uh, play Scandinavian opposition, so he knows that, that the Scandinavian football inside out, so again that, that might be a, a short term advantage. A few uh, points have been raised about, about his age as well, because he's a very young coach. Was that something that featured in your decision making, Peter? Well, he, he's, he's young, yep, he, he's got new ideas, he's modern, but he's coached for seven years. You know, that's the thing, so he is a young guy, but he's got a lot of experience in coaching. And, um, you know, Age, age really doesn't play a, a major part in it, but the fact that he, is, he has got experience and he's got a big part of his career ahead of him is, is really positive. And I'd imagine you expect Ronnie to thrive in the sort of pressure that comes with being the Celtic manager. He, he will do. I mean, he's a, he's a very intelligent guy and he will learn and he'll learn quickly. Clearly, the Celtic will be a huge step up for him. Um, Glasgow, Scottish football in terms of the intensity and the challenge of that bring. But I have no fears that he will... Uh, not be able to adapt in, in, in the short term. And what, of, of course, is encouraging as well for him is that he has some very stable foundations to build forward from. That's very important. You know, we have built up, I think, uh, a support structure there for any manager that's first class, whether they're scouting, their academy, their performance analysis, their medical, and their coach, some of our coaches. So when, when managers, I mean, that's been part of the strategy, when the man managers will leave, but they don't take the whole infrastructure with them. There's only one or two that go out and we replace them. So there's a great support structure for Ronnie, which I'm sure will benefit him in, in the early days. We've seen already from some great scenes on the Celtic way there that the supporters already seem very taken with him. That must be very pleasing for yourself, Yeah, Peter. absolutely. I'm delighted. I think, you know, as I said, he's the, um, once he sees football, I'm, I'm sure that will even get better. And he also mentioned to ourselves at Celtic TV that he felt that coming to Celtic was part of joining a family, which I think very fits, fits well with everyone at Celtic. Absolutely, just now. you mean it is a family here, and that we all share the same values and, and culture and standards. That we strive for the best for the football club from the top to the bottom. And he got that, and it was interesting that he got that pretty early on, and I'm delighted he does. And so what's next now, Peter, for Ronnie, the next couple of weeks? Is that a chance to go home, come back here, get settled into the job? Yeah, I think he's going home for a few days. Just um, It's been a pretty stressful few days you know, for him. 
uh, we've, we've got there, he's going to go back, relax and then come full throttle uh, sometime next week. And finally Peter, the Celtic support have a new manager, do, do you have a message for them? We're at the start of a new journey, uh, we've got an outstanding young coach, I'm sure he'll be absolutely uh, first class. Um, he, we want to dominate Scottish football, we want to have a keep on winning and we want to win the Celtic way and I think Ron will bring that.